This summer I had the amazing opportunity to work with the United Nations World Food Program at the regional office in Panama City in the Communications and Knowledge Department. The summer of 2015, I did an internship at the Canadian Consulate General in Detroit, Michigan. This fall, I'll be interning at the United Nations Department of Safety and Security in Panama. So I did an internship in the summer of 2016 in Belize, Central America at an organization called Maya Mountain Research Farm, which is essentially a permaculture farm. In the summer of 2016, I entered with CAMFED, Campaign for Female Education, as their CAMFED Kiva Development Intern. And this opportunity is really exciting because my long-term professional goals are international relief work and the World Food Program is situated uniquely as both an emergency aid uh, organization and a development organization. I've always been interested in international relations and Canada's foreign policy and so working at the consulate was a great way to see what goes on behind the scenes in that field and it also helped me to think more critically about what I wanted to do with my career. I'm really passionate about international relations and security ties really strongly into that. And so this internship at the UNDSS is going to be really enriching to my studies and my degree. So my internship was very relevant to both my major and my minor in international agriculture because I was able to see how agriculture works in the tropics, specifically sustainable agriculture. The internship was fundamental to my degree. I was able to work in San Francisco, a fundraising hub for NGOs, and to see how it related to parts of Cambridge and to parts of Eastern Africa where CAMFED mainly works. I'm really thrilled to be one of the 2017 recipients of the Shirley Yang Experience Award because although this World Food Program internship is a really exciting and amazing opportunity, it's unpaid and without their support you probably wouldn't have been able to do it. Well, I actually lived in Windsor, Ontario and I took the bus uh, under the tunnel and across the international border every day to go to work. So one of the things I'm very grateful for um, and I always think of when I think of the Shirley Yang Award is just paying for that bus every day to cross the border along with my living expenses and whatnot but that's that's the main thing I'm thankful for and I, I remember. The reason why this funding is so important to me and students like me is that these international experiences can run really expensive and so without this funding, I wouldn't be able to go to Panama. Without having received the funds from the Shaw Yang International Experience Award, I would not have been able to go to Belize on this internship. Without this funding, I wouldn't have been able to go on the internship. San Francisco is one of the most expensive places to live, and I'd really like to express my deepest gratitude for this award. 